for the next 24 hours, we will depart here from, uh, from Velsen Noord, where we have loaded uh, 47 or 48 kilometers of subsea cable. Um, depending on the progress on, uh, on deck, we will, uh, we will depart here probably at around 16 to 1800. We will uh, sail over the North Sea Channel, outbound, via the Imuiden Locks, towards uh, the UK coast, and there we will put out the vessel in an anchor spread. Okay, we're just completing the, the loadout phase uh, with the export cable. Um, so the export cable now is fully loaded into the carousel. Uh, we've just finalised the testing, so the optical fibres for data transmission has been tested with an OTDR, and the uh, aluminium cores have been fully tested with a TDR. And once we get our COA of approval, um, we can leave port and we will move over to the south east coast of the UK, to Leeston, uh, where we'll set up the vessel uh, with an anchor spread predetermined and we will uh, commence the cable pulling operations at the beach uh, at that location. We have a team of uh, four surveyors, um, two onliners, one offliner and one party chief myself. We are responsible for uh, the surface positioning of the vessel uh, on the project, uh, as well as the subsea positioning of the vessel. So we, we basically position the vessel on the project where, where we need to be, where the cable needs to be. The next 24 hours we will be uh, deploying anchors, so our role in this uh, will be liaising and sending the information to the anchor management uh, tugs, which we have two on this project. We have installed some equipment as well on their bridge to try and locate where they need to put the anchors. When, once the anchors are set into the, into the software, and from there they can steer the vessel based on, on those anchors. So the next 24 hours we will be deploying those seven anchors. The plough is basically about subsea burial of cable. Uh, we intake a cable at the front of the plough at the uh, bell mouth. We monitor the tension and the cable exits at the rear end via the depressor. This is the port side skid that we have on the plough. Hydraulically operated by two cylinders from the control van. And the idea is that we just these plough, well the skids to five to 10 centimetres as the plough is towed forward by these two tow bridles. This area is the uh, front of the plough. This is referred to as the bell mouth. The cable will enter the plough via these two pieces of equipment, which are known as the horizontal cable tines. And this is referred to as the trough, as you can see where the rope runs over. The cable during operations will run over the top of this area and exit the plough via the depressor. And again, this is monitored via a load cell and the indication will be in the control van. And it gives us an idea as to what tension the cable is during operations. The cable will run it through the plow and it will exit the plow via this depressor. This depressor will be lowered down during operations and the cable will exit from this area from the bottom underneath this area of the depressor and onto the seabed and there's a load cell monitoring the tension of this depressor so we know how much tension is on the cable during plowing operations.
last 24 hours we've, uh, we've pulled the plough back to the beach. Uh, we've then pulled the messenger wire back from the beach to the vessel. Uh, we waited for slack water, pulled the cable ashore, floated the cable ashore and we've just released the cable onto the seabed next to the plough tow wire. In the interest of health and safety we didn't want to put divers into the water so we wanted to make it a diverless operation so we used a mechanism where we could automatically deflate the sea serpent and lower the cable to the seabed. The next stage now is uh, we'll, 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 we have a, a plan in place uh, with the plough team and the OCM and the vessel uh, to um, take that plough and, and start burying from the beach to protect the cable. Um, this export route is uh, 43 kilometers long, so uh, this is the very, very beginning of a, of a campaign where we need to get this uh, cable buried to, uh, to protect against ex external influence and mobile seabed. So we start pulling away, burying to a target burial depth. Um, we have to ensure that our layback with the uh, plow is correct for uh, a, a good continuity of our uh, tow winch and we'll start uh, plowing away. 